Vögelbunker, hallo? Ah, endlich, Steiner! You wouldn't believe what just happened! I'm just sitting here in the Führer bunker and suddenly there are poles in front of it. We need to push them back or else the Reich will fall, you know. Yes, this is dein Befehl. Good news everyone, Steiner is called and he will come and save us. This is a very special save game from a very beautiful person over on Reddit. They played as the Soviet Union, made a super strong game and the Soviets are in a prime spot to conquer the world. Then they did some safe game trickery and switched over to Germany because you cannot open the cheat console because this is technically an Iron Man game. We are stuck with the Germans. I can't take over to the Soviets and influence the game in any funky way. This player does not have any DLCs apart from the free ones. So on server by requirement, we do have a decent amount of factories. Italy is already dead. We still have this piece. Norway is also in danger. We do have Portugal on our side. Japan is winning very nicely in China, although if we take a look at the wars, China is still <laughs> resisting relatively nicely, so Japan is not gonna cap them. We can kick Portugal and they will immediately join Japan. First order of business, we don't have many ships anymore, but I'd still like to save any that we can. Planes... I are not looking that great. I'm just gonna shoot all of them. Stockpiles in general are not looking that great. We do have shy Goebbels, obviously. And I also have to deal with this. I don't have MIOs anymore. The Org is much better for defending. But I mean, offense is also good for defending. So I'm not sure whether we should switch to Halder or keep with Beck for now. We are down here already in desperate defense. Germany has lost 9 million men already. Canada's... Oh, right. No DLC. Canada is free, obviously. F4? 48P? That's the Hoffi government. Why are you... Oh no! Hungary doesn't have a focus tree. <laughs> Alliance with Spain, which usually backfires. But right now they would join us if they didn't have the shriveled up debuff. Don't think I need to improve relations with Manguku of all people. We could form Niederlande and Belgien, not Frankreich. That's not worth it. Please just use Cavalry Template too. That one doesn't use support equipment. We cannot afford support equipment right now, Hitler. It's an Iron Man game I can't save. Fuck. Oh my god, that was actually good. We got a bunch of Belgian divisions. We do lose the factories here, but I don't want to garrison it. And it's also going to be useful because they can give me some units. 13 divisions and they might produce even more later on. I'm gonna get Halder here. Yeah. We are still exporting 170 steel. I... fuck. That would have been much more useful, but uh, yeah, we can just wait a little bit for that. But that breakthrough here is super bad in the Yugo region. I'll need to restructure all of this. Grundstadt, congratulations. I'll leave Portugal as well. They should deal with this front. I kinda don't wanna give up Memel, but this is super nice to defend. Make this front a little bit smaller. We don't need these garrison orders anymore. I will just send these guys to you. That's kind of an ambitious navy project that you have here. I kinda wanna make them smaller, but I also kinda don't. Yeah, I'm just gonna try it. Make them smaller. Right, we are positive in the artillery department. What the fuck is this? That's way too much hard attack. Let's do something like this for now, I think. Next order of business, I'm gonna try and push the French out again. Would be cool if we can get Bordeaux and La Rochelle, because then they are also encircled. And a big chunk of the army has already made it out of here. Yeah, they're slowly breaking through down here. I think I'm just gonna produce a bunch of these as well. Just get our manpower used up, as well as the guns that we now have. One strategy you can also employ is just let Poland conquer, you know, uh, reconquer Poland. Then we don't have to deal with Stalin right now. Stalin only has mill access to the UK. Huh, that is kind of busted that we get Korachao and Suriname. We do have an attack angle on the US right now. I'm gonna try and get some cast here to push them out. Why do you not have any AA research? Why are we getting nukes? <laughs> Armored cars already, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> and you wouldn't ever use them. Ah, fuck. The Soviet push has enabled the allies to push as well. Oh, we kind of have to put up children on the front line again. I'm gonna let the allies push into Poland. Make the border smaller for me. Nice. 
We haven't talked to these guys. No! The Yalta Conference! Don't you dare! We're not dead yet! Close economy! That's the sound of a booming industry. Retreating is a battle tactic. I don't think that arrow is valid anymore, but you can just go to this front line as well. This one tile here is super bad. See? Retreating is actually hard. Uh, I guess the allies can sing a song of that. Fly, my pretties! Support your fathers! Keep on attacking. Keep on pushing into Bordeaux. I'm gonna pin here. I'm gonna pin here. Are you serious? Okay, I have to improve relations a little bit more and then Franco is gonna join us. Honestly, I think I'm, I'd rather take the PP right now. Although army training is actually useful for once. <laughs> You see, Hitler, by letting them push us back, we will have fewer factories, which means we can be more efficient at creating our guns because we won't need as much uh, resources as many. Re as many. Yes, es ist Großhirnzeit. One support equipment. Thank you, Niederlande, for your generous donation. Paulus, it's a that's a, that's a crossover episode. That's the guy from 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 here, from Hindenburg Guard or whatever its name is. If you take it, I definitely want to recon company. I'm gonna put some field hospitals in these guys. Immediately gonna call Franco into the Germ into both German American wars. A lot of losses. I'm fine with that. Just let me get out of here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna dismiss these guys. It's the only way that they can get out of this pocket. There we go, you're now all civilians. Okay, I had to shoot a few too many divisions for my liking, but that worked out. Then let's dismiss even more divisions. I'm also gonna put some untrained soldiers on the front lines. Not because I want to, but because I need to. If I had medium flame tanks, this would be so much easier to defend. Or if I had an air force. We should be able to switch our doctrines right now. Because we recruited 15%. We obviously lose 5% recruitable pop, but we still have 5% that we can get right now. And that makes our infantry a little bit stronger. Oh no, 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 they're taking Berlin. Just look at the industry, man. And for some reason, a nuclear reactor. That's not very true. German at all of you. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not coping. This is actually fine. Mm, Spain is slowly getting pushed. <sighs> Spain, please don't. <laughs> It's a DLC feature! I can't stop convoys from here. Fall back to the Maginot. Biggest issue right now is just we need to... I mean... Oh, Jesus, stupid... <laughs> stupid chair. The lock went off. Thanks, Frank. I just realized both of them are on my middle finger. If I build forts somewhere, I feel like we can win this. Let's do something like this. Final orders from the Führer. We shall not take one step back behind the Steiner line. I have Melexes from Sweden. I can't be the AI. I can cheat. Well, you shouldn't build too many because at some point the AI will realize, yeah, no, the level 10 fort, I'm not going to push in there. It's pointless. More food for my soldiers. They're not pushing anymore into the Steiner line, but I guess intimidation was enough. For the most part, we have stabilized now. So the, this is... Oh, fuck. Yeah, the Soviets are starting with their naval invasions. It's just... Ah, another naval invasion immediately. <laughs> but now we need Steiner's forces. The Eagle. Aww. These guys have more soft attack than my... They don't have as much breakthrough as the medium tanks. So at least they have that going for them. These will be integral to our victory. They can't stop our convoys from going somewhere. So I'll just have to accept that our convoys are getting shredded. Sure would be weird if I could say something about that. It's a lot of allied divisions here. <laughs> Can you please stop Mr. Churchill, please? Okay, that was uncalled for. I asked you to stop and you nuked me. Just because I had a little kerfuffle with Poland. Honestly, it's so good that Japan is not eating dirt for once. Please don't. Well, apart from Saipan, you are holding. Why did they give Hinterpommern to Poland? They should only do that if they get mill axes or something. You are fascist now, at least. Strategic reasons not to ally me? Which ones? I don't know, you tell me. Okay, I think it is time for ein Gegenangriff. Let's see what those boys can do. I mean, they are not elite medium tanks, but they can auto push, which I, sh I just wanted to test this. American Iraq war. Uh, let's not. <laughs> that one attack. That one attack cost me 100 days. UK declared war on Iran as well. The Japanese are now at war with the Soviets, which just knocks the Japanese out of the war. Oh, the Finns have... Made a very brazen attack here. Well, doesn't that look fun? Ah! Oh, hi, Mark. They don't even have their focus tree. You can't even make that argument, you know? My last save was... 
an hour ago. Oh, that's great. That's cool. That's ah, yes, I like this game. Ah, it's. I'm also gonna put Steiner's forces on the Swiss border just in case. Win ratio 100%. Oh, wait, I'm missing. Is it the, the equipment thing here? That's a DLC. Can you stop, please? I'm gonna try and provoke a bit of an attack. It might work. It probably won't. But I need the AI to grind up against us. I guess that didn't work for the AI. Right, let's try something aggressive then. Completely remove an entire stack from the front. I'm not going to be able to break through here unless, you know, I spend the next five years, five real life years, getting, you know, enough fighters so that I can contest the allies. Which is why we need them to grind up against us. That's just my fate now. Naval invasion, naval invasion, naval invasion. Menguko! What the fuck? Please, UK. Please, free me! I would much rather have the Blitzkrieg Doctrine than the mobile infantry. Right now we only lose modern Blitzkrieg. And I mean, of course, our infantry is now worse. Uh, that's enough reason for the AI to start pushing. Where are Yunnan and Guangxi? What did you do to them, China? Nothing. There's not much to worry about, because these tanks, they can push, even though they have too much heart attack. But uh, that doesn't matter. Finland, can you not? Honestly, switching the doctrine was the smartest thing I did this game. The worst part about all of this is, once we're done with the Allies, we'll also have to do the same thing with the Soviets. But it's gonna be great to just have a bit of my industry back. You okay, Switzerland joins. But I am prepared. Ooh, what happened to you? Oh, Belgium is just running out of manpower. I have to be careful here. I can only use these tanks for as long as we have oil. <laughs> I mean, I can use them afterwards, but they're not gonna be good. I guess it's time to get the Führer Bunker back. Führer Bunker, not Führer. I'm not English. In here... Yes! Oh god, they nuked one of our tank divisions. That is so bad. Everything is gone. We lost 450 tanks from that one nuke. I mean, it is a nuke. Of course we should lose tanks, but still, it hurts so much. Communist China? Oh yes, the Soviet Union. They are getting cocky. I don't want to destroy factories, man. It's only possible to remove buildings once every 30 days. It's Jova. I can't request land lease. I have to get oil somewhere. If you want to save me your send files, feel free to do so. But please make sure you have all DLCs. We're still gonna run out of fuel before they can do anything, so... Uh, it's not gonna matter. It's gonna matter nicht. Oh, my, my pencil! It almost fell off. Just like me! <laughs> Bill Bauer's probably lost. Come on, just move your troops in there! Why did you stop? You had 11 divisions that just stood there. Soviets! There we go. You are bleeding. The, the bear might bleed, but so am I. So do I. Okay, it's starting to get ridiculous. How many naval invasions does the Canada UK prepare? Like seriously, there's one, and there's another one, and there's a Finnish one, and there's a Greek one, and the Soviet one was just here. There's an Indian one. Oh, yes. Oh, come on. You didn't have to nuke Berlin. That is not something I expected to see. I can't reload now, you know. I did have something funny prepared here, but I guess this works as well. This means the Soviets are at war with everybody now. Oh no! <laughs> this border is gonna get very stupid now. <laughs> they had mill axes, that's what happened. Oh yeah, the fall of London and they are already hugging Hungary. <laughs> <laughs> this is a horror game now. I can just see the Soviets approaching. I don't want it anymore. I think I'm also just gonna push a little bit here. Get a bit of German land back. We lose our entrenchment, which is bad. It's costly to push here, which is bad. But any land that we can retake will be glorious. What are you doing, Stalin? Thank you for liberating my German land and just gifting it to me. I certainly do not say no to more I see. Ah, okay, there's no available land route. Okay, I guess I won't attack. I guess I also won't attack here. Thank you. <laughs> Our first capitulation! The Thompson guns are useless and there's nothing really here, but still, we got Hugo. I mean, uh, looks like the Soviets got Hugo. <laughs> okay, stockpiles are looking very nice. The UK is out. Good, now land on Scotland. Sheesh! 
Game plan right now, just let the servants grind up a little bit more. They are already running out of strength here. If you think that I modified the save file, you can watch this entire thing on BJ Minus, my side channel where I store this ward. Yes, I made an entire channel just to store this one ward. Although now that I think about it, that would be kind of funny. Churchill, do you think this is your top priority? Freeing the Netherlands? You should probably think again. The British are pushing back. Same with the Japanese. <laughs> Stalin really just fucked himself over. That's a lot of red. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. It was just a joke, Stalin, you know? Uh, there, there we go. It was just a joke. <laughs> just like you! It would be cool to know how many units were saved. How much trickle back we got. Because it's not gonna be a flat 50%. Because, you know, it's 50% when the field hospital is at max supply. You know, you can't cut somebody's hand off if you don't have a knife. I am the doctor and the chef. Just like how it's supposed to be on a pirate crew. And sometimes I'm the captain. Or the maid. And the caretaker. And the teacher. And before I spend the next three hours just sitting here and waiting for the servers to grind to zero. Actually, that's a stupid front line. Up here is a very good front line. Let this auto and then we're also gonna send you on auto. We could of course do an encirclement here or something, but... Eh. Liberation of Warsaw! There we go. The first proper Russian encirclement in 1951. <laughs> Prague was retaken, immediately bomb it. It's just Switzerland, Italy. I kind of have to push through Hugo here if I want to get to Italy. Sorry, Baldini. You will have to wait a little bit. Italian war in German Reich. Attackers war goals. Civil war. Take Baghdad from Iraq. I love Hearts of Iron Man. He's my favorite superhero. He's just fucking racist. <laughs> All right, let's do some po Oh, finally, the Portuguese have finally recalled their divisions. It only took them seven years. Full on Russian offensive, Barbarossa, every single unit. I will not encircle. Hey, but we freed Bulgaria, we freed Romania. Why are you here? I feel like you picked the wrong side. You're not usually here. Yeah, we have freed Bulgaria and Romania. <laughs> Yep, the reconquest of England. Oh, we lost the tank somewhere. Okay, let's get the supply up here. Because I'm memeing again. Not as much as the UK though. Or the Soviets. Okay, maybe I'm memeing quite a bit here. Oh boy. No! In the exact same moment. Well, that's what I get. That's an interesting Mongolia border. Oh, come on. Don't tell me that's not the same front. Just because of... Just because of this one tile. The UK does have a few war goals. Hungary would be down. Okay, I need divisions prepared. Steiner's forces on the Rundstedt. Okay, I can't prepare a front line. That sucks. Invite defection. Draw arrow. Immediately attack. Without the DLC, it's just whoever has the most planes wins. Oh, this is expensive though. Look how happy he is that I finally came for him. Regno del Sud is gone. I would be a little bit upset if I were the fast wearing Italian man. Mm. Red. But the cast, I have to get the fawn out of my side anyway. We just have to take the 100,000 men that we lose here. Oh, that's the first time in this game that I've seen this pop up. Wow. Encircled, no supply anymore. And we can even make it official so they don't swim to... Tripoli. Resurrectionist Ireland. That wasn't me, but sure, join me. Knock out the pesky British from Northern Ireland, Mr. Duffy. A truly threatening name. Whee! <laughs> After six hours, just seeing this does feel very nice. Norway has been free. Still an enemy of mine. There we go, Yalta Conference, my ass! 32 million Soviets! There's a Soviet ally war. Ah, okay. The tanks have done their job. Y mm, I'm not sure this can classify as the Tyrol offensive operation. Yay, pocket! Yeah, my enthusiasm is rising in the opposite direction. In case my sarcasm wasn't clear enough, 40 million Soviets! This is an end seek. Especially because there's no collaboration governments. <sighs> Soviet Union is 
gone. <laughs> of course the American AI wants the two oil provinces. There we go. That was the AI and seek scenario. No, now Turkey wants to join us. Great. Granted, we still have to beat up the free American Empire and Unitary Canada. We have 1.2 thousand factories now. All of the UK, we have 120 dockyards. Taking the allies out at this point is just a waiting game. The ship's right, and the musician, and the navigator, and the helmsman. I'm not getting paid enough for this. 